Hey! Hey, a workbench! He could try out his new bling. really give you an edge. The wrong? Well, it still looked pretty, didn't it? bury him in a bucket. Actually, several buckets. what it was like to die. Not nearly as much fun as they said.
where Renato went next, we cannot follow. Yet. Oh dear, that wasn't good. was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. I wonder what happens if I go that way. You almost never saw wild gogglers together like this. The toads had to train them not to peck each other to death. So these had to be Imperial gogglers. That meant ravens were up ahead. Those flames really bring out your eyes. Renato had once invested in a jewel store, but it lost money because someone kept robbing it. Twist. It was him. There were fewer and fewer trees. There were only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the ravens when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. The mice and rabbits. Where had they gone? And he was getting hungry too. This was an unhealthy place to be. When Renato went to the china shop, for some reason the owner was always nervous. Of course there was a puzzle. You couldn't expect a transcendent emperor to bury a god's eye in a leather sack where anyone could pick it up. his hook didn't break. He thought. 
Why did it have to be wallabies? The 20-sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. Hmm, maybe Lapino wasn't such a good friend. Yeah, that made him feel better. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now, he had to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. If you've just assembled a weapon out of legend that can exile gods from the world, you'd want to have a scientist or two look at it. And even if they disagreed and he had time, he could ask Calaveras himself. Yes, the observatory would be his objective. Why had the parts of the Sky Ripper only surfaced now, thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had dismantled it? The Mad Emperor Isengrim had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Was that why these ancient artifacts were rising out of the ground? How perfect, then, that the Sky Ripper would reappear to be his destruction. And, hopefully this time, just his destruction. once told Renato that fruit was a placebo, but he felt better. That was what was important.
legendary weapon was exactly what the rebellion needed. They were outnumbered. The once kind emperor had become a tyrant. But his ravens stayed loyal, for he fed them his victims, and the other animals were too frightened to rebel. Renato shuddered at what the emperor was trying to do. To bring back the lost gods, the black harvest, the black sun? No. He would stop that toad, no matter what the risk. Renato, smash! Renato's path was clear. Let the scientists ensure the Sky Ripper was safe to use. Bring it to the rebel base, and then assault the Imperial fleet for the win. down, he told himself. Don't look down. Try it. You're hooked. Full of stars. Everything, there is a season. He turned over and died. a barrel roll, he thought, as he died.
felt a little bad stealing crafting materials from chests. He preferred to rob them from people at sword point. Renato was thrilled. The scientists seemed to think he'd put the Sky Ripper together right. But one toad was worried. Yeah, he, the, the Sky Ripper could tear a hole in existence itself. There are invisible strings that tie the universe together. Uh, if the Sky Ripper cut one, the hole would widen and widen until our whole existence uh, fell into it. Another toad sighed. Oh, Irving still believes in string theory. At least go see Calaveras. Hmm, yeah, said the worried Toad. He knows more than anyone else has forgotten about the Transcendent Emperor. If anyone could tell him how to use this weapon safely, it would be Calaveras. It was he who had told Renato how to find it in the first place. But maybe he had to give up on using it as a weapon. Maybe he had to go to the secret rebel base and ask the generals there what he could do with a weapon that he dared not use. One way or another, there had to be a safe way to use it.